you'll find if you use various applications like PaintShop Pro or Photo Paint or Paint and whatever, that you can't actually use ABR files in general. You can use them in GIMP and uh, Post Workshop Pro, but uh, this one, uh, just got a quick tutorial to show you how to convert Photoshop Brush ABR file into a file format that can be used in those applications. So just gonna go, you can actually find lots and lots of brushes as well as lots of hints and tips on graphicextras.com. You can find the brushes section on there, most of the sections on the side. Right, just go to the brush tool and just go to the palette. So you've got brushes here, all the various brushes in, this is a faces design set. I'm just gonna select one of those. And the file size there, 441, the actual file document size here is 500 by 500. Now you might wanna make it a bit less, like 400 by 400. Some versions of PSP can't actually load that uh, size of file. Right, so I'm just gonna click there and that's the brush stroke side. Now of course you could actually, if you wish, make more complicated brush strokes than that. You don't have to actually use that. You could resize that, maybe make multiple brushes and create that as a PNG file. You could do that as well as just this. So now save as and use test. Save as, okay. Now I've used black, but you could of course use a, any sort of gray scale. So you could actually have it slightly, you know, obviously less than that or maybe blur the uh, design. There's numerous ways you can do and create different brushes. Right, so I've actually saved it now. And I'm gonna go quickly to PaintShop Pro and I've actually opened, pre-opened the document. And I'm just gonna go to Brush Tool and you've got a little icon there which brings down the palette. And there's a little icon here which you can actually create brush tip from selection. So I'm just gonna we do that, test one, click OK, okay, and if you go back into it, you will see the brushes, uh, I did one obviously earlier, test, and a test one, so you can uh, now use it in uh, PSP, of course, you could do it in various other applications like Photo Paint and Painter and other things. You might in that case actually have to convert it to TIFF format if you're using an earlier version of Painter. Okay.